Hi, I'm Professor Mario Horta with Submit You Jiu Jitsu, and this is one of my boxing coaches, Eli Reese. And today I'm going to be showing you some transitional moves from cross side top. I'm going to go into scarf hold, modified scarf hold, then to scarf hold, and then I'm going to go transfer back to reverse scarf hold, and then transfer into a Kimura. So I hope you enjoy. So <clears throat> when you're in cross side top here, I, uh, I want to make sure that the guys uh, head is stacked up and my elbow is touching my knee here and you can transfer back and forth from pushing this elbow into the hip and then my knee. You want to make sure that you're nice and flat in this position here and then sometimes I'll, I'll put my arm here to block a little bit and move back and forth depending on what your comfort level is. So the first transition I want to show you is you're going to grab the shoulder here and kind of cup it using monkey grip. Okay, and then to secure the guy the right way, I'm going to drop my right hip down and create some pressure so that both of the shoulder blades are touching the mat. At this point, once I've got him flat, I'm going to take C grip or motorcycle grip. I'm going to come around and latch onto his tricep here. Then from this, I'm going to roll through and switch my hips. This is going to come back here. My head's going to stay low. I'm going to pull this shoulder, pull this, kind of like a bow and arrow, and stay low in this position. You should be able to feel a lot, the opponent should be able to feel a lot of pressure down here. So that when he tries to bridge you, go ahead and bridge me. Here, I've got a good base, back and forth, and then I'm not too far back here, so if he pushes me backwards, I don't roll back. So from this position here, um, you can always go from modified into scarf hold, and it's a really easy transition. I just take my wrist, I roll it under here, and then I come up here, I can either grab under my leg, I can grab into this armpit, or I can just hold into here, depending on what your comfort level is. I like to be right here and be able to have this free hand to move back and forth in case he bridges me. So back to the scarf hold position, the modified scarf hold position. Now I want to get back to cross side top. I'm going to take this here. I'm going to pull his tricep. As I lift it up, kind of like pulling on a rope, I'm going to slide this knee back under. This elbow is going to touch. I'm going to flat back out to cross side top. Um, now I want to transition to reverse scarf hold. And from reverse scarf hold, it's a little bit more of a difficult transition. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to make sure that first I don't, a lot of guys will come up and lift up here and then they can bring in the T-Rex. So I don't want you to do that. So the first thing I want you to do is actually drop your left hip down and turn it, turn your body down this way and create some pressure on his head. And then you'll see that his elbow isn't able to get past my hip very easily. I want to drop it down so that it can't get past. And then from this position, then I'll bring this up here. And you'll notice by doing this, by pulling my head back a little bit, that the guys holding here, I've just created some space right here. So this uh, is going to hold onto his hip. My elbow is going to drop down. And then from here, I'm going to slide the leg through and I'm going to bring it through. This is going to step back here. My left knee is now in his hip. My arm and my hand is pulling his hip into my knee, so I'm creating pressure here. This is back, so in case he bridges me back this way, I'm able to stop it with my leg back here. Okay, so the first position that I want to show you is just a couple simple passes. Let's say, for instance, he's got his, his knee up here and he's kind of blocking me and it's not so simple for me to pass. With this hand, I can kind of play a game with my uh, arm here and I can roll my wrist under. What I'll do is I'll just come under here, I'll thread the needle here, I'll come through and I'll pass. Pretty simple pass. Um, let's say, for instance, that I don't want to use that method, and let's say he's got his leg up or his bridging now, he drops both, in, and I'm in here. I want to make sure and hold this hip, but as this comes up, I want to hook the back here, I want to pop over, and then pass. So I want to use his bridging against him. Go ahead and do it one more time. Bridge here, I want to pull, boom, pass over. Finally, if I'm not going to pass, I want to make sure that my left elbow is pulled in tight here. I'm creating a lot of pressure with this scarf hold. Now, you can go to uh, a few different things from here, but today I'm going to show you a Kimura uh, from kind of a chicken wing position. So I'm going to pull this in, I'm going to drop my weight, I'm going to have my leg back here, I'm going to be playing uh, protection with the hip here so that he doesn't bridge and push me over. Now while he's fighting me here and I'm creating the pressure on his face, this hand is going to come under and I'm going to come in an inside bicep tie. I'm going to slam this down, grab the wrist, pull it in on a chicken wing or on a single hand Kimura position, and now I've got it locked. From here, I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to grab this leg and pull it and hook the hip and leg lace in here. As I leg lace him, if you want to come around on this side, 
You'll see that my left knee is still up against his butt here. I'm going to turn his body and slide this up right behind his head. And now I'm back stacking his head right on my thigh and my left elbow is not touching my left knee. I'm going to slide this out. I'm going to go two on one. This is going to be C grip. This is going to be monkey grip here. Now while I have two on one, I'm going to rise his elbow up here as high as it goes and then pull it in so that I can get the most amount of pressure on the shoulder. Now I'm going to go ahead and reach for my Kimura. Now this is really important. I'm going to now once again drop my right hip down to pressurize his two shoulder blades on the mat. I'm going to use my left leg that's under his head. It's going to lift his arm up for me. And I'm going to sit through and when you sit through you should automatically get the tap. So I'm going to go really slow and you'll see how fast he taps. I'm going to lift it up with my left here. This slides under, boom, and then you get the tap. You keep him so flat that he's not able to bridge up. I'll show you one more time. From this position, I've got the two on one. I'm going to take the leg high. I'm sorry, the elbow high. I'm going to grab my own wrist. My left leg is going to lift his uh, tricep up and I'm going to sit through. And when I sit through, it comes here, lifting it up, sliding through, and then I get a tap. And he, I don't have him lifting off so he can roll me backwards. I'm Professor Mario Horta with Submitting Jiu Jitsu. Once again, this is my boxing coach, Eli Reese. I hope you enjoyed that transition and those moves. Thank you.